episode as many things to be said that here on this channel it's a known thing by those of you that have watched me for a while i'm a fan of gandius i think that they are the the perfect spot of budget to quality and that's important to me because that's the biggest part of what i like to do here is the best price for the most product you get now over time i started to see kind of a regression in steps that they're taking and in these last two products i have been less than thrilled with especially because they carry a name that to me screams flagship model which is hermes for their mechanical keyboards the hermes e1 was passably a little bit more okay to be lesser than it was because it was something more geared towards or aimed towards those coming into the mechanical keyboard and the beginning entry gaming mouse realm to kind of have something new for them to put on their plate and try it out and see if they like it and hopefully find a place in their heart for Gambius. Gambius does some great things, but over time, just like I said, we're seeing some kind of step backwards. My original Hermes Ultimate had uh, USB pass-throughs, audio pass-throughs, and while it was only the red color, it was uh, Cherry MX Brown switches. It was just really nice, and it was really nice for the price especially. So then they came out with different things like the Hermes RGB. The Hermes RGB did away with pass-throughs and macroable gaming keys. Well macroable gaming keys there were no additional keys there were function assigned keys that you could still make macroable gaming keys but that was still kind of taking away from the whole feel of everything that they had to offer and uh, a lot of it was really neat you had things like magnetic wrist rest put it on the desk and snap to and on top of that doubled as a keyboard cover that was pretty incredibly cool and great especially for the price and um, we just kind of see these features diminish a little bit while adding other features I, I could care less about RGB when it comes to the awesome functionality that, that the keyboard has to offer RGB is cool it's a nice thing to have but it wasn't the make or break thing for me so I want you to take that with a grain of salt and I'm gonna show you real quick on this box here this is the Hermes P1 RGB and I want to ask you real quick to tell yourself what color does it look like to you because that's important to know as we move into this video. So let's go ahead and check it out. We'll talk a few things about it and uh, share some opinions. It uses TTC switches. And in case you've never heard TTC, which is pretty common, we'll see what they sound like. They are the blue flavor. And this is a quick keyboard test between TTC switches and Kale switches. The keyboard itself, as you can see here, is kind of this baby blue, powdery blue looking color. And that's why I told you, hey, remember what it looks like on the box? Because that's not what it looks like once you open the box and take it out. I was a little bit disappointed. Here you can see it compared to the original RGB one they released in 2016. And you can definitely tell that it's a little different looking. Maybe expecting something like a gunmetal blue, but it wasn't. These little cutouts in the front, they're obnoxious to look at if you don't put the wrist rest in. And if you do put the wrist rest in, I mean, it is a pain in the butt, A, to get it on there. As you can see me kind of struggling here to just trying to snap it into place. What happened to that nice, easy magnetic snap-in? I don't know, but I am not a fan of this whatsoever. I didn't like it on the Hermes E1, and I don't like it on the Hermes RGB P1. It's just a little bit frustrating. But not only is it frustrating, it's functionally unsound. It gives a lot of bend and bow to it like it's a little trampoline and I'm not a fan of that and any serious gamer probably wouldn't be either. So it's a shame to see that this is the route they took with this and I'm absolutely not a big fan of it whatsoever. It's not my favorite feature I've ever seen but the feet on the back here, they're okay. They're not the best. The little rubber pads aren't good enough to actually touch the desk. It sits on the plastic mostly and they're kind of flimsy. The neat inclusion of the keycap removal tool was nice but that's probably my favorite thing about the keyboard. Going into Hera, we have a little bit to talk about with Hera. They've made some minor changes and a little bit of upgrades with it, but at the end of the day, it's still the same old Hera. You can assign different lights to different keys. You can do different things in this and control luminescence, which brings me to another topic. Luminescence is a little bit dimmer on this one than it was on the other Hermes RGB I showed you there in the video just a moment ago. It would have been nice to have seen some additional features here other than just the two programmable buttons you can do with macros and stuff, but ultimately, Hera hasn't really changed. Hera is pretty much Hera. And now that they've got the download working again, it's good to be able to get back into it so I can take a look at it. But again, no real major changes have taken place here. Uh, pretty much RGB function controls what most people are going to do. They're going to go in and play with the different lighting settings and things like that. But at the end of the day, that's, that's really all it is. So that's enough about that. When it's all said and done, this might not be my favorite keyboard that Gambius has ever come out with, but at the end of the day, a $60 price tag makes it pretty appealing to a lot of people looking within that budget. And I wouldn't say that it's a bad keyboard for that price by any means. However, I just expect it a little bit more personally, and that's probably where a little bit of my frustration lies. But at the end of the day, not a bad keyboard, not for $60. It's definitely worth checking out if it's something you're interested in or comparing with other models. But also at that price, they're going to be competing now with a fan favorite in the budget market, which is Red Dragon. Anyways, guys, have a great day, night, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next video that I do.